So I'm going to present you the eChalk system. eChalk is a system for running on computer screens. And the idea is that you use the computer screen as you would use a normal blackboard. But uh, if you are using a computer screen, of course, you can scroll, so you don't have to erase everything. And in our system, what we have done is that we have uh, four computer screens all connected to a single computer. So the lecturer can go to the screen and write. Uh, the screens, uh, all the input to the screens is uh, delivered to the computer, which in turn is connected to the internet. So the people watching the lecture from uh, in the same university or from other place uh, can get three kind of streams from the system. So the first stream is, of course, what uh, you are doing with the blackboard. So anything you write here is delivered to the users via the internet. The second stream is the audio input. So anything you say with, with a, uh, is captured by, by a microphone and is uh, transported to the viewers. And the third stream is a video stream uh, where you can see what the lecturer is saying. And what we do with our system is that we superpose the video stream on top of the uh, computer generated graphic. One important uh, aspect of the system is that it's not just uh, made for the internet so that you can watch the lectures online. Uh, the lectures are also stored on the hard disk in the computer so that all the lectures uh, that uh, we can do with the system can be stored for later viewing by users. The system has many more features which I'm going to explain now. So one important capability of the system is that you uh, can uh, draw, you can write, but the computer tries also to interpret your handwriting. And if you use the appropriate color, which has been selected for handwriting recognition, you can, for example, ask the system to give you, uh, to provide you the result of this computation. In this case, the system responds with two to the third power is an eight. You can make uh, more complex operations like uh, two to the second power and three to the fourth, for example, and then ask the system what it recognizes and you get the correct result in this case, 85, as you can see. Uh, it would be not very, very interesting if this was the only kind of uh, symbol recognition that we can do. The system is able to interpret also algebraic expressions like, for example, if you want the integral of uh, x according to x, then you ask the system to compute this integral. And what you see here is the output from Mathematica. So we are using the, um, the algebraic server uh, provided by Wolfram Research called Mathematica. And then the input has been interpreted by the system correctly, and this is the result x uh, squared divided by 2 for this uh, integral expression. So each hook is extensible. That means that you can write your own code and uh, plug it to the system so that you can develop your own in intelligent assistance for other applications. The first example that I can show you is the, just uh, the introductory ex example that we use for our students to learn how to program for the system. And it's a small uh, program for learning to play uh, tic-tac-toe or for playing against the computer. And as you can see here, nobody wins this game. So we have a more interesting uh, interactive application that uh, you can put on the blackboard. Uh, it's a program for recognizing circuits. It can be used for classes in logic design. And in this system, you draw your gates, for example, a conjunction gate, which has this shape. And you can draw a disjunction gate, the OR function, which has this shape. And then you can draw the inputs to the gates. You can connect one gate to the other. And if we have three bits, for example, which are coming as input, then you can activate uh, these bits. You can tell the system what's the value of each in each line. For example, one in this line, a zero in this line. And you see that immediately the whole circuit becomes alive and gives you the result of the computation. In this, one, in this case, the total result is a 1 in the final gate. 